Chris, I know obviously you and a lot of other players are not 100% right now, but yeah. um, how challenging is that for you to be playing and playing at the level you're playing right now, not being 100%? Um, I think, you know, being 100% is, you know, subjective. I think our, our training staff does a good job of preparing guys uh, to play. So, you know, if I, if I wasn't in a place where I felt like comfortable with playing or didn't feel 100% in a sense, I wouldn't. You know, I'll be smart. I probably wouldn't be playing. So I guess it's all subjective. And, you know, I feel 100% because I'm able to, you know, uh, go out and perform to, the, you know, 100% of my ability. So I guess it all comes with a little grain of salt. Chris, you obviously have battled through injuries in your career. Do you think that's made you tougher mentally, physically at, at this stage of, of being in your, I guess, fourth season here? Yeah. Um, I think, you know, the ability to, to bounce back from injury comes from, you know, the, the initial ability to have, you know, um, uh, mental toughness and then, you know, a component of it, the physical toughness too. Um, so I think, you know, I don't know if it's, you know, uh, allowed me to become more tough or, or anything like that, but I think, you know, <clears throat> my initial mindset and the, just the way I carry myself and, and um, the way I approach things has allowed me to, you know, uh, not focus on, um, you know, uh, being banged up or anything like that, just allowing myself to, you know, continue to move forward and, you know, uh, keep, keep my mind on, you know, our, our, our team goals, so. When Kenny Peely went down in that game, how do you think you guys did from a communication standpoint, execution standpoint, defensively without him in there? Yeah, I think, you know, that's kind of the beauty of uh, the way we play defense. You know, we get a lot of guys in there, so. We have the opportunity to, you know, um, communicate with, you know, uh, every level of defense and, you know, everyone that comes in. So I think, you know, obviously, you know, when we lost Keenan, I mean, we didn't know the severity of the extent of the injury or, or what happened. But, you know, we all have that kind of, you know, next man up uh, mentality. And, you know, we take communication and, uh, you know, uh, executing at a very high level. And it's, it's very imperative on our minds. So, you know, if anything, I guess with him going down, you know, him being, you know, a, a leader on our defense, you know, we already have that that heightened sense of communication, you know, on the field. But I guess, you know, with him being now, you know, it's just time to ramp it up a little bit more, for sure. Christian, what are your thoughts on the, the matchup with Alabama and, and the challenges their offense will present for you guys? Uh, yeah, you know, playing Alabama every year is very, you know, it's very exciting and it's, it's an opportunity, you know, realistically to show what you're made of. Um, but, you know, their offense, you know, obviously we've seen it all season, you know, um, explosive plays, you know, whether it's running or passing. You know, they have a very talented wide receiver group, talented uh, running back room, you know, and talented quarterback in Jalen. So, you know, I think we can't take any aspect of their game for granted and, you know, got to approach it with a mindset of, you know, um, you know, uh, just communicating at a high level and, you know, al allowing ourselves to believe what we see. So. Thank you, guys.